guys, it's your girl, and we have made it to Halloween Horror Nights. I am so excited, and tonight, we are ready, all right? I can't wait. We're going to do the RIP tour, which we get to see all 10 houses and the scare zones. I'm ready. We're going to get to try some of the food. Have this fun presentation a little bit before we get into the activities of the night where we get to see the merch and some of the producers of Halloween Horror Nights come out and they tell us all about the houses and the concepts behind them. And that is my favorite part because I love the magic, but I love seeing the the like behind the scenes moment. I have a friend. Hello. It's Deanna. So they put us into different groups and we get to be in the same group tonight, which is awesome because I'm afraid and I do not know anybody here. No, actually we know everybody here. You know, it's just, it's intimidating. Walk straight up to random people and hey, ask girl. them questions. <laughs> Hi, oh, hey. look at this necklace. Uh, look at your nails. She's all blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look, okay. It's giving Halloween cocktail party. I, yeah, that's what I, you know, kind of trying to be one of the divas. Yeah, we love a little outfit check. Okay, yeah. Molly, what house are you most excited to see? I think I'm most, I'm most curious about Quiet Place and I'm most scared of Insidious. Oh, me? Okay, yeah. me too! <laughs> same season, I said the same thing, Megan. Yeah. Okay, I would agree with those, but it's the year of the woman, so. It is! Yes, yes. Eternal, eternal, yes. eternal, 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 I Look love at this it. Yeah. right here. We are ex- Oh my god! Look at that! I feel like you always walk into my vlog of mess. Just, we love the state of What house are you excited for? Ooh, I think a quiet place I'm most excited for. And the Blum House Scare Zone. Okay, okay. You know what? I thought that, I'm excited about Insidious. Everybody, I've, they had a premium night last night. Mm -hmm. And so some people already have seen it and they said it was the scariest house. Mm -hmm. I wanna see if it's actually scary, but I am very excited about the quiet place. The a quiet place is one of my favorite, like, horror movies. I love, it has such a satisfying ending, one and two. So I'm excited to see how they take that concept and put it into a haunted house. I think Ghostbusters is gonna be pretty cool though. Oh yeah, Ghostbusters too. I feel like it's really gonna be campy and funny. There's always one house that's like not scary, not super serious. It's just like kitschy and fun and Halloween-y. And I think, I definitely think Ghostbusters is gonna be like that house this year. Yeah, let's do it, let's go. Pumpkin Queen. You know. And I'm so excited about my I love it. <laughs> there is a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man s'mores. And I would like to gobble up about 14 of them, right? Mm. I'm so ready to see what he tastes. He be, it's cute. Anytime food is cute, you want to eat it. We are inside of the park and we are headed to the sound stage. This is where they're going to show us all of the merch. We are going to get to try some of the food and then have our wonderful presentation and then head out into the night. Um, I, I'm kind of excited that we get to see some of this during the day. Everybody for Stay and Scream is now here. People are already lining up for the houses, but we don't have to worry about getting in no line because we are what? VIP. VIP. RIP. We look at we're content creators. Mm. Now before we get too carried away and into the night and doing all of the fun things, I want to say big shout out to Universal and thank you so much for inviting um, me to do this tonight. It is a big deal to be here. Um, it is one of the premier things that you get to do as a content creator. So I just want to say thank you so much to Universal. I appreciate it. You know, your girl is just out here humbled. Let's do this. We love a humble pumpkin queen. Yes. <laughs> y'all we're in the room we have um, a lot of the Horror Nights food around us we have a bar I'm gonna start with a little bit of liquid courage because I am very nervous so I might need a little drink to get it started but then we're gonna try some of this food thank you oh not them giving me a real glass okay okay <laughs> Don't be being excited because I got a real glass you know we used to drink it out of plastic I am not a fancy girl Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now let's get this started. We have our first food item and it is, you all already know, the pizza skull. 
Alright, so I want to see if we get like a good cheese pool. No. No cheese pool. I feel like I just massacred him for the camera's pleasure. There's no, there's not a good, like it's not super cheesy on the inside. I wanted a, a cheese pool. Mmm. It's really jelly. Walking taco. Alright, so it has Doritos, sour cream, cheese, salsa. You know, the works. Oh, that's that's spicy. It's good though. It has like big pieces of like beef in it. Hmm. Whenever you see me like look this way, this is I'm looking at my phone. You know, we just double teaming it today. We gotta make a reels. We gotta make a YouTube video. And you know what? That's a okay. But I'm gonna be able to show inside of the houses, which I'm really excited about about this whole rig so that I can like hold it and then show you the vlog while I'm showing the phone at the same time. Huh? I hope it work out. I also truly appreciate like the undercurrent of random metal music, like, like lyricless metal music in the background. Just love it, you know? It feels like Horror Nights. This is called the Red Door. It is basically a samosa, but in a door form. It's a really good vegetarian option. I'm not gonna say it's vegan. I have to double check if it's vegan. If it is, I'll put it right here. But it's a great vegetarian option. This is the Say Cheese Burger. Um, it's supposed to be really cheesy. It has a cheese bun. There's also cheese on it. And then there's like a sauce underneath that's supposed to make it super cheesy. We're in like this room and they're making everything fresh. I saw people who had this yesterday and there was a lot more cheese on it. Like they say that the bottom of it was like sitting in a pool of cheese. I don't know if that was on accident or on purpose, but it wouldn't have hurt nothing. Mine isn't sitting in a pool of cheese and I'm a little upset about it. Universal's like R&D team does so good. Like their chefs are so amazing. The food in Horror Nights is good. Don't ever get me wrong. But Mardi Gras, they got their thing on that. It's so delicious. So this is the Heartbeat Tostada. It is vegan. It is beets. It has a vegan feta on it. It looks like some arugula. Um, and then there is like a puree underneath. I'm just going to voice over this part because the people next to me were having a conversation. But you can see I really like this because I am eating the whole thing. This is a vegan feta. I don't know what it's made out of, but I want to taste it by itself. I need, I need it to isolate it, so I'll put a little bit on my nail. It's like that diet cheese feta substitute. It's just like they shaved it instead of like cubing it. So that's why I was like, it looked like it's just coconut. I mean, it's coconut in that, but they shaved it so the texture looked a little different. This is a delicious vegan option. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a hummus, like beets, hummus, feta, it all go together. We have our LA beef the, uh, taco. Voice. No, I don't want to. It has like a cucumber salad on it. It adds like that freshness. <laughs> Very delicious. Done a lot of savory, right. now it's time for some sweet. One of the houses uh, this year is Ghostbusters. So we have the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man s'more. Now, there is another s'more where he is on top and he's a giant. 
marshmallow and he's toasty. They, they ain't got that back here. We gotta go out there and get it. And you know what? That's gonna be in our future. It's a universal s'mores. So it's that fresh made graham cracker, fresh made marshmallow covered in white chocolate. It's delicious every time, can't go wrong. Okay, one last dessert before we head off into the haunted houses. This is the chili, chocolate chili macaroon. Um, I do believe you will be able to find this in the tribute store. Try it. Before we go out into Horror Nights, they have Laura Sauls come out. She is one of the masterminds of Halloween Horror Nights. And she basically just walks us through each house and what the concept and the idea is before we get to do them. This part is always super, super interesting. But instead of showing it all to you all, I'll give you little snippets and then insert some of that information when we get to those houses. Passing that giant red door in Insidious, the further, where you are going to be trapped in the further with all those ghouls and demons. One of the most terrifying haunted houses we have ever designed. And we have Monstros, the Monsters of Black America. Yes, it was a hit at Universal Studios Hollywood last year. It was one of their number one houses in their event last year, and we wanted to bring it to the East Coast to celebrate it here in Orlando. You must choose who you follow. Is it Sinister, who reigns supreme on all physical, body torture, gore, that side of horror? Or is it Surreal, who reigns supreme over psychological, demented, twisted, ghostly, fantasy horror? <laughs> Did you guys bring? No, that's okay. No, that's okay. All right, that's fine. 
<laughs> so what's a little bit different about this Renaissance Fair is that the machinery actually works and it's modernized and they're testing it out on all the park goers. But it should be fun. They have great food. The music sounds good. You guys excited for that? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm not sure if you know our icons of the, the event this year are Sinister and Surreal. So there are two sisters. Sinister, she's going to focus on the mental aspect of horror and Surreal is going to focus on the physical aspect of horror. This scare zone has been taken over by Sinister and she is possessing the king and the queen to form, to do heinous acts on people and her people in her honor, of course. But we should be fine, I think, right? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so we are off into our first scare zone. This one is a renaissance fair gone bad. right next to Fast and Furious is Major Sweets Candy Factory. Okay, so remember we already ate the macaron from Major Sweets. It was the chocolate chili one. She said nothing happens when the adults eat the sweets, which, I mean, I feel fine, but apparently when the children eat it, they go crazy, they try to eat us. What is gonna happen? We don't know. But I gotta stay away from the kids. Meg is a little afraid. It smells like chocolate. It can't be that bad, it smells like chocolate.
had fun. People in my group. We have pages tomorrow. Hey, friends. <laughs> so I want y'all to know that we gonna get stopped all night long. <laughs> I love talking to people. I know. I know. Oh, I love it too. You're you're a celebrity. Oh, I don't feel like a celebrity. I feel like the nosy neighbor. <laughs> hey, what are you doing today? <laughs> it's true though. I love it. We are walking past Nightmare Fuel, which is the show. I liked it the last couple of times I have seen it. I love any time they do popular music. And you know, you guys know I love like rock and like, you know, metal and stuff. So I love singing the songs. Um, and it's always like a fun, sexy show. Maybe this year they'll put a little sleep token in it. Rebel Yale, and then they played Rebel Yale at the end. I was like, Chef's kiss. <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all we was gonna get stopped all night because everybody loves Nate? Nate is quite literally the best, and he is one of the friendliest people ever. So if you're ever thinking about following Mr. Paging Mr. Mar, or if he's a really nice person in real life, he is. Normally, all of the houses are in backstage areas or showrooms that they're not using. They have erected these two tents, and they have huge huge lines. The lines connect to where when you leave one you can just jump into the other instead of having to go all the way back to the front and they are Eternal Bloodlines and Goblin Feast. Very excited for Eternal Bloodlines that is the Universal Monsters House that is ran by the women because who runs the world? Girls. Um, <laughs> and so it is all female monsters. We are starting with eternal bloodlines which i am so happy for i love a good female villain i love a good female monster and i'm ready to be afraid So we have done major sweets, we have done uh, eternal bloodlines, and we have done the goblin feast. 
I'm gonna put Eternal Bloodlines above both all three of those houses like eternal bloodlines has been the best so far but i do like goblin speaks it was very i i don't know how else to describe it other than cute all right our next house is going to be slaughter cinema too <laughs> of deadly exhibits. I'm ready. 45 minute wait, not for us. How are you feeling about RIP, VIP? Um, I'm loving it because I hate waiting in lines. Very exclusive. Very exclusive. Like VIP, you know? How are you, how are you loving it, man? Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> I mean, this, this year I said I was gonna get an RIP tour because I was not going to do it. You know what? Even if they wouldn't have invited us, yes, we both were like, we pay it for this because it's just, it's really worth it to do the RIP tour. The Rotting Stone has been the center of horrific stories for centuries. Has been the center of horrific stories for centuries. Oh my God! You know? All right, so since you did them all last night, which one should we be most afraid of? Insidious. Uh, everybody keeps saying Insidious is the one. No, oh, it's it. They just know how to get you. It's the, they, they, they master the art of uh, making you think they're going to scare you here and then getting you there. He's got no baby. calling it the top house. Am I calling it the top house? Maybe not yet. But was it up there? You'll need to do it. You'll need to do it. If there's only one house you do, maybe Insidious is the one. Maybe it is. Maybe they wasn't lying. Maybe it wasn't over height. I don't think it was. I don't think it was over Right. What if it was the scariest house? It was the scariest. It was. You, I really wanted you to be wrong. I wanted you and everybody else to be wrong. Can you imagine what it's like walking through there by yourself with no one in front or behind you? Especially with the curtain scene where they just kept on coming out of everywhere. Yes! Everywhere. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to see. <laughs> afraid. I was very afraid. It was It was a scary house. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be based, I think, based on what I have read. Okay. And I don't read anything. 
what it is. It's definitely the scariest. It is the scariest, but it's I think scariest. you thought Horror Nights was scarier than it actually was. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. I feel like most people do, like, if they don't like scary stuff, they're like, I don't want to do this. And then you get here and you're like, oh, it's actually fun. I can do this. Yeah. Yes, you're braver than you know. Okay, so we are walking through the scare zone, and this one is Swamp of the Undead. Oh, this one's real foggy. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Not him in the fan boat. All right, we just got through with Swamp of the Undead, and now we're heading into uh, basically the main scare zone, which is Sinister and Surreal's scare zone, our icons scare zone. And some think they're brave enough to come through the What is it? It has a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man on it. Yeah. It got a little break. It got a little. I look in his eyes when oh. I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little lipstick touch up, a little uh, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man break. He That's said, the way. I look in his eyes when, <laughs> when I eat it. Excuse us. We a little. <laughs> a little tipsy. <laughs> Me and Genesis are doing. This is if y'all ever want to know what the Instagram girlies do. We, we took up our makeup, up our makeup yeah. on breaks. <laughs> we gotta look good for the camera. They're like, oh, you, you look so pretty throughout your video. How did you do it? I stopped and touched it up. It's not magic. to do a quiet place. This is my most anticipated house. Um, apparently there's scare actors in the haunted house that no sign language. So we're supposed to be as quiet as possible. I'm ready. Amazing, rave reviews. Everybody 
loved it. And so now they brought it to Orlando and we are so ready to see it. I love the idea of a house infused with culture. And I love Latin American culture, so I am so ready to see Latin American folklore. But for monster! <laughs> together the makeup for Halloween Horror Nights. I know that their job is not as easy as all at all. Um, <laughs> this video will come out before my next one, which I have gotten a Horror Nights makeup done by some of the wonderful team over at Vamp FX who specialize in special effects makeup and also the school teaches a lot of the makeup artists who go on to work at Horror Nights. So I'm super excited to show you guys that vlog. It will be the very next one after this one. But big kudos to the makeup team. You guys are doing an amazing job. The makeup looks so good tonight. Everybody looks amazing. You can hear everyone cheering because um, it is shift change. And we always cheer for shift change. So when um, scare actors are leaving and new ones are ushering in, we give them a cheer because they're bringing us joy. Um, and now we are doing the murder triplets. Um, they have decided that they're going to kill their whole family and then every 10 years they recreate it by killing a whole nother family and we are next! I'm not ready. I would like to not be murdered tonight. Let's do murder triplets. <laughs> A full police car, 3324. This is an original house and normally numbers mean something, so I wonder what that 3324 means. Uh, four nights, 33. 2024, duh. Happy birthday! <laughs> 
it's her birthday. <laughs> Welcome back to the Urbanist Podcast, America's best true crime podcast. Turn the lights on. The murder triplets. Every year, they pick a new family to murder on their birthday. I love that there was three cakes. It was a whole birthday theme. There is a birthday cake that you can actually eat um, at Horror Night, which is fun. You know, celebrate the triplets' birthday. So Deanna was saying, oh, there's no weekend house. Apparently, in Hollywood, they're doing a weekend, too. I'm like, yeah, we don't have a music house. They can do a sleep token house, girl. Shut up talking about sleep token all the time. But imagine how wild that would be. We're already celebrating women and like the goddess sleep. Oh, ah, that would be so good. Straight into Ghostbusters. It is a cold house, and I am loving this little bit of AC. Let's do it. The death chill. The power to kill by fear itself. A cold shiver runs down your spine. Your veins turn to rivers of ice. Your bones crack. And the last thing you see. students walk down Nocturne Alley. <laughs> Do we find Death Eaters? A Slytherin, a Ravenclaw, and a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Looking for Death Eaters. Shall we find them? We don't know. The crates normally signify where they are, and now we don't see anything by the crates, yeah. No. Somebody check the little Harry Potter girls' pages. 
So we did find a team member and they said that the Death Eaters come out around every 20 minutes. We did wait for another 10, but then we gave up and went to see Nightmare Fuel. To join the Black Parade. So I will not force you to listen to me scream this version of Black Parade, but it is the song they play at every Nightmare Fuel. It gets the crowd hype and it is a tradition. It was a dark and stormy All Hallows' Eve when this nocturnal circus came to town. The most beautiful creature I had ever seen. It is all of the bitter aspartis that you can put into um, a drink with some orange fanta on top, which is nowhere near enough sugar. But if you like an Aperol spritz and you like a little bitter drink, then she's okay. gonna be. Oh no, you fine. Thank you, thank you. Then she's gonna be your best friend. She's your sinister sister. But for me, oh, she's the evil. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Though. Oh Jesus. All right, so they have switched our drinks out for ghoul juice. Um, I feel like if we all are like, especially me, because I'm, I'm like, I'm like almost all alcohol, but it was just way too bitter. Okay, so the ghoul juice is raw, yeah, cherry brandy, simple syrup, mango, mango nectar. nectar. It's the typical drink that you get at every Horror Nights. It, it have a, this is what Horror Nights smell like to me. This drink, I'm, I'm, oh, it does. I'm not you kidding. Walk in the house. This what horror it nights. It smells like the fog. It do. Oh, that's better. That's Good. much better. What was this? This is the smell. It's the. This is the ghoul juice. This, this is the drink. Good. They good. have it at every horror nights. It's a classic. You love it. Um, Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Also, it is the same as the rum. Almost the same as the rum punch during Mardi Gras. That's why you like it so much. It's just, it's old faithful. <laughs> and it, it can never do you wrong. 
We are on our way out. We've had such a good time. We have our last little drink for the road. Um, but oh, Horror Nights has just been so fun this year. I Today at Universal Halloween Horror Nights. Oh my gosh, we had such a good time. Ten houses, five scare zones. I have a ranking. I will probably be definitive more closely in my um, Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, go ahead and follow me there because I'm going to give a full breakdown of like what was my favorites, what was my least favorites. But I had such a good time. Thank you so much to Universal for inviting me out tonight. I love, love Horror Nights, Horror Nights. Um, 33 in the books and big thank you to my um homies tonight that I've been hanging out with Deanna and Meg Deanna let them know where they can find you Deanna style on all socials Not yes Meg. on both of them are on Instagram and YouTube so check them out I will put their ads below he, I mean not below I'll put their information <laughs> right here but Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And then until the next one, I will see you guys on another day at another park for another adventure. Bye!